Good morning, my dear friends. I hope everyone is fine, having very good, positive, healthy, productive days. My name is Goiana Ferreira, and today on this video, we are going to talk about the Department of Clean Water and Peace. Dear government leaders, dear teachers, dear parents, and dear families of this planet Earth, it's a gift to have you here today, being part of this program, trying to learn and practice everything we already have posted until we have our organization launching day. Thank you so much for your participation. And let's invite some more government leaders of different countries. From Andorra, Prime Minister Javier Esport. Zamora, from Antigua and Barbuda, Queen Elizabeth, from Yemen, Abdrabu Mansur Hadi, from Zambia, Hakende Hishilema, from Zimbabwe, Emerson Manangagwa, from South Korea, Moon Jal In, from Portugal, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza, from Qatar, Emir Sheikh. Tamim Bio, from Russia, Vladimir Putin, from Spain, King Philip VI, from Sri Lanka, Gotabaya Gajapaksa, from Switzerland, Iguazio Cassis, from Uganda, Iowery Museveni, from Vatican, Pope Francis, from Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro, and everyone else. That's just to say a few names as we are trying here and there. And uh, thank you so much, my friends. So now we are going to say a few topics of this department handbook. The Department of Clean Water and Peace, it's organized in two parts. The first part, it's about the organization launching day and family registration. The Organization International Presidents Conference in 2022, now in February. The Organization Governor Conference in all countries that they will meet at their own countries. The Headquarter Visiting Countries during the 28 Volunteer Weeks and the Permanent Headquarter System Team. On this first part, we will also have handbooks about sacred water, sacred lands, our work with the waters for this, for them to be sacred and clean, spiritual practices and meetings, organization calendar celebration, the organization first official songs, very simple songs, authorized communication items from different countries, seasonal festivals, peace shows, Public parks, city, county, state, and national. City offices that for all countries will be the same. Common areas for residential communities, garden and nature sites. Requirements for all garden department directors for residential, commercial, city office and parks. Requirements for all headquarters assistant teams and um, requirements for conferences and tree planting, this big tree planting that we are organizing, annual tree planting, all the requirements and the needs. So for the second part of the Department of Clean Water and Peace will be about the cleanup teams in all areas. So the four weeks cleanup the family cleanup that everyone will already be at their new community. And we will also have uh, handbooks about um, family houses, residential communities, and business sites of all types, churches, organizations, how we are going to clean up and have the buildings all organized for the following people that will be there or for the owners to, to change their business. So we're going to have all this here. And we will also have information about the cleanup of animals and the environment. 
um, for fresh and salt water um, animals for the tree planting, ocean cleanup, beaches, and everything else. So those are the two parts, and I'm going to do my best just to give a few information to you. And um, as soon as we have everything online, you'll be able to check it up, and we will have wonderful and positive days. So the main thing of the Department of Clean Water and Peace is for us to recognize God and nature. Because planet Earth was created for humans to evolve spiritually and for all of us to live in peace. Live with peace, with love, with dignity, with respect. And in a few words, this department is to take care of clean waters, for them to be sacred waters. It's for us to take care of the lands, for them to be sacred lands that can give us food, can give us the oxygen we breathe. It's for all of us to work united as one, as one humanity. And we are not going anymore to to have this land is mine or yours, or this culture is mine or yours, or this religion is mine or yours. No, it's not about that anymore. It's about being one. It's about being united. It's about sharing. Sharing everything. Sharing land, sharing money, sharing knowledge. Because there are many, many smart people in our planet. But we will have only the ones that are working for positive things. Because there are smart people that did wrong things, negative things. So we will be working to have positive families and positive things. So this is very important. We will have walls at our residential communities. So our children are safe, our teens are safe, all of us. So nobody will get in or get out without authorization. And we will have proper uh, county and city lines for only to be organized for everyone to know where they are and where they will be doing their documents. The same way is for state and countries. We have to stop thinking that this is my country, this is your country, and trying to get more land or have more power over others that are weaker. We're going to stop that. That's not safe. That's not a positive thing. Or, for example, countries that still own other pieces of land in other places that's so far away. It's time for all countries. Right now, my friends, dear presidents, dear government leaders, let them free right now. Sign a document today. Release them all. Say, here, you are independent. And from this moment on, you will have a president from the Clean Water and Peace Organization. Because we need these things. We cannot have countries that have land in other places of the planet far away and still so many that are not independent yet. We have to be better. We also, about language, for example, we cannot have so many languages, so many dialects, so many cultures, so many religions. Oh, that's not needed. We need one, one for everyone to embrace, for everyone to love, for everyone to honor, for everyone to work with, promote the same exact thing. For everyone to be proud of what they have and will be the same. For us to hold hands together. For us to make alignments 
on special days that will be inspiring people, inspire ourselves to renew life. To be everyone, to be states of the same organization. Everyone to be united. We will, we will be united. So when we make these alignments by the water, we will look east. We will look east in the morning when the sun comes. We are grateful to God. We are grateful to the sun. We are grateful for this planet Earth. We are grateful for this oxygen we breathe. And the power of God that gives us life. That makes trees grow, make our food grow. We are grateful to sacred waters and sacred lands. So everyone, when we will be doing this alignment on rivers that run, you know, that are um, from south to north, they are on these lines, or from lakes. So we are always going to make a, make a line from south to north. We are not making lines east and west. So we can focus everyone, make the same line all over the planet in special days. Some days will be holidays for everyone, and some days we will, doing the, we will be doing the same thing in all educational sites. We will be holding one flag, my friends, the white peace and love flags for us to be united and hold hands together. We will be gathering in the name of peace and love. We will have our families united and it's going to be really beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to share a few words about each of these topics. And we go from there. The organization launching day will be now in February. We're still deciding the right day. But we will have our website, our peace app, and all the handbooks properly written with the best updates as possible. And soon after, on that same week on the following days we will have the international university teachers conference with their spouses and the whole family people that live with them their children their adopted children and their grandparents for one or two couples that live together all of them will be coming together because that's the most sustainable for families to be together at all times Okay, so the number one, the organization launching day will be done now in February. We don't know the right day, but everyone will be gathering their own communities. And here in the United States, we will be inviting all presidents to be president, present at our conference. So we'll be one couple from each country. And they will be the new president for that country. These couples were chosen, we're choosing them, according to their practices. All of them are university teachers, PhD teachers. And um, for the study organization made, it's the best couple also with their practices and also according to what the organization trusts the most. Because we need very competent couples. Because they will lead our work for 10 years. These first 10 years, everyone from garden department directors from residential communities, educational sites, city offices, and places that do have community gardens, like big um, commercial plazas and things like that. They will stay on that position for 10 years. Everyone will stay on that position. Why is that? Because our people we really trust, 
and for us to have consistency during these 10 years. That's very important. Okay, during this launching day, we will have garden work in the morning, and then garden work will be done from 8 to 10 a.m. for everyone that can already do that. And they have time to get organized, and at 11, we will have our alignment. The person in charge will say a few words. In our case, here in the United States, will be the headquarters already leading the conference teachers. And for residential communities, will be the clean water and peace garden, department, director, couple. So they will say a few words and of gratitude, as I, says bef as I said before, and they will be sharing a few information about their work and the organization launching day. That's a very special day for us. We will all have our alignment with white peace flags and and soon after we will have a lunch together. Lunch will be beautifully made for all residential communities and uh, with proper tables, very well organized and we will have our um, Water play at 2 o'clock. So families that want will be in beaches, rivers, and to enjoy, you know, play with water. And families with small children will stay at their residential community because that's the safest, you know, so we won't have too many people in local parks. At 2 o'clock, we will also have a um, boat parade. And people will be going north and, and they can choose the place they will be staying. At 4 o'clock, everyone will be heading south and will go back to their same location they left from. They have to be there by 6 o'clock at that dock, you know, where they left and um, be home by 7, walking or take urban buses, whichever is available in each place. So basically it's that. When the families will be going home, the garden department directors will write their proper reports. And afterwards they will download the reports and pictures and mini videos at the Peace app and keep some for the records for now because a few will be printed afterwards. They will also have all families will also be doing their waivers, signing their waivers and the permanent agreement with the Clean Water and Peace Organization. So the families will be doing their own with themselves and at lunchtime, the residential communities will be having the permanent contract with the organization signed by all directors at the records book before lunch begin. So we will have 10 couples signing and some other testimony, maybe four couples or so, uh, to join, four or eight couples, to join and sign as testimony for each residential community. So basically it's that, and everyone will download their reports at the Peace app. And at the organization launching day, we will have also all the informative videos, tutorial videos, videos of all types for us to, to have information about what is needed for those that do not know them yet. The number two is about the Organization International President's Conference. So we'll be meeting in Florida, now in February of 2022. 
and we will let you know as soon as possible the right day and we will be checking if anything will be needed to improve for the 28 weeks or not if you know how good will be written until that day and if anyone has a very good proposal will be added or improve the one that we already have so this information will be part of the Constitution proposal, international constitution for all countries exactly the same. So, and soon after, we'll have the government conference in all countries that will last for one whole week. And people will be meeting in a certain university that's very close to the hotels. So they can meet and have this opportunity and they will be having the same exact themes and work together so they will know each other and uh, wait a minute and work together and practice all these things for families to be together their families and also to have records of these special events such as the garden work, uh, their conversation about the handbooks, the organization handbooks, and work together, plant many, many gardens at the university they will be at. And the hotels, they will be staying at assigned hotels that are very close to the university so they can walk because... Um, they won't be taking buses, so we will already get hotels that are very close. For the President Conference, all the information will be online and they will be doing exactly what the headquarters decided for them to do each day. For example, for planting, so what they will be grafting, what they will be focused on this and that, or how to organize the groups because it's very important for us to be really organized, who will be cooking, who will be practicing songs, because we're also going to have fun, right? Who will be practicing songs with the peace flag to perform at the end of the day to the others and share, all the families will be sharing, working together and enjoy this very special moment. Then we, will, we have a handbook that's about the headquarter visiting countries during their 28 volunteer weeks, where they will be going. Um, we are not saying exactly where they will be staying at, but we will say which country they will be and proper um, reports will be made it, and people will know afterwards, of course, for security reasons. Okay, then we have a handbook about the permanent headquarter assistant teams. And um, those are the teams that will be established for now during these 28 weeks and also for centuries and millenniums, the same exact permanent assistant teams. So we will assign proper universities for each one and they will be replaced after 10 years and to, for new positions, only the ones that will be having the best uh, PSAP points, you know, that everything is included from family to academics to practice to work and everything. And that is the beginning of... Um, the first few items of our part one of the Clean Water and Peace Organization Handbooks. Then we have a handbook about the International Family Nature Games in Florida. It's uh, one week of work and fun, so we will relax and also enjoy each other's company. So every country we have one chosen family. The best family from each will come and we will have fun. How we are going to do that? So with the peace app points, 
families will be during these 28 weeks, they're going to put all their points exactly how really happened, you know, and um, be really honest about them because they will be checked. So we will choose the four best families from each country. And from those four that have the most points, we will choose one. Why is that? Because we also need to invite the family that we trust the most. So from those four best families, we will check and evaluate and choose one of them. We have people helping us out to choose the best from, from those families. Okay? All right. Great. The part one of this Clean Water and Peace uh, handbooks also include handbooks about sacred water and sacred lands, spiritual practices and meetings, the organization calendar and celebrations, the organization first official songs, they are very simple first songs, authorized communication items from different countries that are books, all, all different types, songs and uh, documentaries, uh, tutorial videos, everything. The seasonal festivals, the peace shows, the public parks for city, county, state and national, the city offices, common areas for residential communities, garden nature sites, requirements for all department directors for residential, commercial, city office and parks, requirements for all headquarters assistant teams, that includes the permanent and the provisory, the one for the, the cleanup, sorry, the cleanup headquarters assistant team that are for the 28 weeks. And we will also have requirements for the conferences, these two very special conferences, and the tree planting, the international annual tree planting. Okay, those items that I just said, I'm going to say a few words about each one of them soon after. All right, the part two, the part two, it's everything related to the four weeks, four cleanup weeks, and the 28 weeks. With details for everyone, what everyone um, have to do, how, and everything else. Because we place in a part two, because future students of all ages don't have to keep going over. They can check sometimes, but um, they don't have to keep studying too much about those they will just know the basics but the first part students will know really really well for all future years and millenniums because that's important it's the base of our um, of this department the clean water and peace department every department will have that the part that's forever the handbooks that are forever, for now and forever, and the handbooks that will be only for these four weeks and for the 28 weeks, okay? The order of the topics might change a little bit, but mostly will be as I'm saying. So, for the part one, Okay, the headquarters visiting countries during their 28 volunteer weeks will be United States, Brazil, because that's where we are from, and then we are going to some countries on the east part of Africa, and, and then we are going to make a line going to Asia, some Asian countries, until Australia, and go up, and um, we will have, we will visit then Philippines, China, Russia, Japan, and then we go back home. Why is that? Every country that we have chosen, it's for something special. Um, and also according to what we can do, the route, the chosen route. 
and to be harmonious because we cannot go uh, all over the planet, right? So those are the countries because uh, the main thing, it's our, um, our work with sharing, our work to be together. We cannot meet everyone for, from all nations, but we can inspire, we can hold hands together to improve whatever is needed for that country, to touch people's heart. That's what we can do. We're going to bring our friends and um, some chosen people from each country to help us out because we're not bringing everyone from the United States or from Brazil, a few of them. And, and work together, plant together, take sun together and learn about those plants from each different country. It's the most important ones, the, the richest ones, and learn um, how, how we can be kind to each other, how we can hold hands to each other, how we can start a new humanity together. And that's the best we can do. So that's what, what we are going to do, okay? And we will have another video to say a few words. Why we have chosen those countries. Say a few words about each one. But that will be a separate video, okay? Thank you. In some countries, we will be working at schools. Preschools, schools, high schools. Adult education, university. In some places, we are going to be working in rural areas. Some places, we will be working at the city makeover of a city, makeover a residential area. We will also work with dental care, with assistance, with health. Everything we can, we will be doing. And every country, what we are signing to do, because um, we want to work in all areas and help different places be part of different teams, work teams. So we will also be working slums, help people from refugee camps, and do the best we can to receive them with kindness, with respect, give them attention, give what they need, and as soon as possible, transfer them to their new homes, whichever is assigned for each family, so they can already start this new life. And uh, we will also be cleaning margins of rivers, lakes, uh, beaches, and um, help with all cleanup teams for nature, the environment, and for the animals as well. Okay? All right, so that's just for you to have an idea. From now on, I will be saying a few details about each handbook. All garden department directors will have a short questionnaire at the end of the day, all the team leaders. To answer, they will also be asking their assistants, you know, for anything that's needed. During the day, everyone will be taking pictures and a very short mini videos to make sure we have proper records to be sent to the Peace app. And at the end of the 28 weeks, we'll be having a documentary. So it's very important to have short videos from all countries, from all areas, and we will share because the document will be very extensive but it's important for us to because it's a very special thing we're doing in all countries right okay so now i'm going to share with you uh, the list of the cleanup headquarters assistant teams so we have the ones that are for the 28 weeks for refugee camps families in rural areas that do not have clean water, for slums, for native tribes and those living isolated in woods or lands, 
for families moving from Arctic polar areas, for nomads, gypsies, and small groups living isolated in deserts and other places, for homeless in the cities, for isolated communities living in rural areas, for religious reasons. So that's the number one. Now the number two is for the 28 weeks clean up for the animal kingdoms. Farm animals in captivity or all the other ones like mules that we are not going to have mules in the wild and so on. For wild animals in captivity, for wild animals living in nature that need to renew because they also have to evolve spiritually. So we are doing the best we can to clean the species that we don't need anymore for each ecosystem. For wild animals, oh sorry, for releasing horses and assign state or national parks, but only where they can have predators such as Africa because they have the lion there. For releasing chickens, to assign residential communities and into all four parks. So the chickens from all this farming, agriculture, animal farming that we have right now, we're going to send the chickens and maybe some ducks as well to some locations because chickens are very good for many countries and we need the egg that's very nutritional. The number three. For the 28 volunteer weeks, clean up and remodeling or demolishing or narrow down um, streets and avenues, highways, for the following sites of cities and countries, for roads, avenues, sidewalks, railroad tracks, stations, interstates, and so on. The number four. It's for the 28 volunteer weeks clean up of water bodies for springs, streams, rivers, lakes, oceans, beaches, islands, islands, and things like that. The number five, for educational testing. So for people that are learning how to read and write, for people that are learning the basic English level one, and then for level two, and then computer level one. And for those that will be having online supervised tests for the organization, basic videos for the registration with the organization, the family registration. And for those supervised tests for the family-owned work training. So those are some just for you to have an idea. And we also have those uh, headquarter permanent headquarter assistant teams. The permanent headquarters assistant teams for now and for all future years will be for the Department of Clean Water and Peace, for the Department of United Families, the Department of Social Systems, Department of United Countries, Department of Community Gardens and Agroforestry, Department of Construction, Department of Health, Department of Education, Department of Accounting and Documentation. The part of technology and security. Sorry, I made a little mistake. The number nine is the part of treasury and documentation. And the number ten, the part of technology and security. We will also have assistant teams until 2040, from now until then, for books for children. And with subject books, stories books, chapter books, and everything else. Because the academics will already be ready, but not those I just said. Books for the teams and adults the same way. Movies, music, songs, videos, uh, documentaries, and uh, everything else. All communication items that we will um, have them approved until the end of 2040. For people that were not doing positive things, they won't have a chance to apply this time. This is for, it's for people that never did something before or people that already have previous positive um, communication items. 
We will give some details about the four weeks of family cleanup in another video. Otherwise, this one going to be too extensive, so people will learn more about them. The animals from the extinct list, we are going to do the best we can to get them and pray for them and um, release them for, for um, during these 28 weeks. And also, some of them, they can be uh, still get caught for future years. No one will be having insects and birds in captivity because this is not positive. So, no butterfly. Uh, in in captivity, no insects of any type, not even for study, because we already study enough of them, and uh, we have to, we need time to learn about other things. So we're not getting them from the wild, and we're not keeping them alive. Um, there's no need for that. For all residential communities, the items for remodeling and for the gardens, we arrive as the volunteers, the organization volunteers already uh, set up and order and organized. They will be dropped off and the families will stay right there, their community working. During these four weeks of work. During the 28 weeks, we are going to offer housing for everyone, you know, help everyone to own a house. It will be under their name with mortgage up to 10 years. And we will also give businesses to people, group of families for, to, to lead the school work, own a school, own uh, some businesses. So we will do that, and we'll be according to their previous practices and, um, and present practices, because that's important too, on a first-come, first-served basis. So as soon as they get their registration, that's the first step, their family registration, have all their kids and teens at school, and um, have all items from the checkup list that is asked already complete so the um, house cleanup all the items needed and they are ready planting you know so as soon as they have all items they will apply and we will offer the first come first serve so families have to hurry up so they can have the best opportunities right and uh, for um, these businesses will be offered with donations from people, kind people will be donating money. And also for our main focus is for those families that do not have, and mostly for families that are on, on developing countries now. So even that they move afterwards, we, we can offer opportunities for them in the country they will be be moving to, but our focus are on those families from developing countries. Then we have details about residential communities, garden restaurants, because every restaurant will be a garden restaurant. Every um, family nature events will have gardens. Um, fruit trees and agroforestry for some of them, but garden they need to have. So we have all details about all those businesses. On those handbooks, we also have information about the headquarters. So the objective of having a headquarters is just to lead the work until 2040. We're not going to lead work after that because that won't be needed. Everyone, we already have um, their department directors. Everyone, we already know what they have to do, how they have to do. And people will be checking up others in all areas because that's important. 
And we have some information about the um, headquarters um, rules and guidelines from us to everyone else and also from everyone to us. So in case someone meet the headquarters in, in a public place, so how to do? Because if everybody will get together, it will be too much. But for the people that are close by, yeah, say hi, you know, um, exchange a few words, that's fine. But we can't have everyone, from people from far away, to come too close. Otherwise, they cannot do anything. So we have written down all details on how to work with them. And it's also forbidden for anyone to be asking their friends, their family members, or be going to places they live, places they work, to ask information, to be like reporters, let's say, for themselves or for someone else. We're not having that. It's not needed or necessary, right? It's not necessary and it's not sustainable. So we will focus on the information that are available online and is also forbidden for people to come and ask questions themselves. It's forbidden for them to record the headquarters without they know about or even keep asking or uh, to, to make videos with them. And that all is not needed. The headquarters will be taking pictures with the ones they will be working with. But that will be from the headquarters cell phones and not from people's cell phones. Because we know from the past people did negative things. So we don't need that. But for records purpose, the headquarters will be taking pictures make mini short videos of their work during these 28 weeks. And even after, some pictures can be taken with friends and people that we will meet. Okay, so now the title is Sacred Water, Sacred Lands. So we will have installation and research and check and manage uh, water from residential, commercial, government sites, organization sites, and businesses of all types. So we will check and evaluate and have um, a decision for all communities of all types. That includes the water from... Um, it will be coming from their own property and for where is needed, water will be coming from the city. And we also have information how to do like uh, check water containers, water fountains, fish ponds, irrigation ponds. Water source will be installed according to the best possibility to each site property. And water, drinking water in the streets and places like that. Water tests from natural resources, signs at all water natural resources, public water source maintenance, and water intake at work and at educational sites, a guide about that. And then we will have the organization calendar of annual and holiday celebrations, so the special celebration days. So, our calendar will be the best as possible for both hemispheres and uh, with exception of vacation days and their school year when each one will start. So, the south and north hemisphere will have two weeks winter breaks and long summer breaks. Everyone, every preschool, school will have 200 school days because it's better for children, teens to be at school having proper activities than at home doing nothing. So it's very important. And for all vacation days, parents really have to give them attention and take some time off from their work and play with them as well as along the whole year. But in a more special way, doing more special activities. 
All educational sites and universities will have 180 school days because then the parents can have some days off to get more organized, to study, complete their, their, their school assignments and things like that. And for master's and PhD, we are still evaluating how many days in person they have to come after the 28 weeks because many will be retaking classes and many already have many diplomas and they will be passing on the tests. So after the 28 volunteer weeks for master's and PhD, we will give an answer afterwards. For university students, first, we, we will change things around a little bit. So first, they will do the bachelor's for two years, and then they will be doing the associates for two years. The school festivals will be celebrated at the same day, the same week for all schools in the morning. And in the afternoon, they will be coming to their residential community. The parks, um, public parks, will be having their celebration one week after, on that following Saturday, so the families can have time to enjoy these both opportunities. And it's mandatory for families to attend all these four seasoning um, festivals and the parks will be having those activities on Saturday and Sunday so the families can choose which one, which park they will be going. They don't have to go on both days but everyone needs to go at least four times a year, attend them. Elders need to go four days as well but they can skip the winter and go for example in two different parks on spring or two different parks on summer and because some places are really cold and avoid the two days a day in winter and a day on fall. Our spiritual meetings will be soon after lunch on Saturdays will be for two hours and we will be talking about positive and sustainable subjects. People that will be leading them are the department directors with proper schedule along the year, for now and for all future years. That will be capable people, they will be learning and studying our videos and uh, checking the information they can offer and will be a real gift for all of us. There are a few things that we will um, teach about different subjects, you know, and all of us will have one God, one planet Earth, one universe, one sun, one moon, and so on. And then we have the family as the base of our humanity. Families united as the base for all of us. So that's our main focus over and over. We're going to be talking about being kind, being respectful, have dignity, have good practices, work together, clean up the house together, because this is part of spiritual evolution. All these things, dress respectfully, and so on. Then we have some teachings about numbers that we'll be giving and how we can save water and how we are going to handle water. We are not having ice. We are not making ice because it's not needed. And we can have our water from the sink. Everyone will have clean water. No sparkling water, no vitamin water, no juices only twice a month from their own garden. If they have a lot to harvest or they can save on a freezer for future weeks. We'll also be talking about food, how to, to don't waste and respect all the food we have. Our spiritual practices, we also have 
songs for opening, songs for conclusion, songs during the work. And our songs are according, uh, some items, sorry, some items will be said exactly what it's on a schedule for that day, you know, along the year. And after that, a few different subjects can be brought from the people present. But we will have assigned subjects for every single week we have that work. Why is that? So everyone in all countries will be talking about the same subject. Instead of having them to, to open for the participants, we're not doing that. So we are sure that everyone will be talking about special important subjects. We will have songs about family, about kindness, love, and uh, work with our gardens, and gratitude to nature, to God, to the sun, to the land, to waters, waters and lands, to all these things, to the oxygen we breathe. And we also will have songs for the animals that need to born in other more positive species. So we're going to have all those songs, the cleanup songs, for the, for the animals. We will have songs for the tree planting, you know, and sing together because when we sing, we also practice. So when we are there planting those trees for the annual tree planting that will be along the whole year, every single year, we will know those songs and enjoy singing them in different ways. So sometimes everyone can sing together and sometimes one person start and the spouse answer. One person, one single starts, another single answer. And then at the end, everybody sing together. It's beautiful. We are going to learn. We have many beautiful songs to, in different ways. It's going to be really special for us to be part of this new work. No one will be going to the bathroom during these two hours because it's not needed, not sustained. We have to be present, pay attention. It's only two hours. And children that are too little can have their cotton diapers and have to start learning this practice as soon as they are two years old. We have to learn. We have to be able to do that. The department director couple will be leading the meeting together, one beside each other. And the other people can be sitting around or sitting at the floor. On warm days, we'll be sitting at the grassy area, the ground covers. And on cold days, people will be meeting inside meeting rooms, the clubhouse. Because that's important, right? We have to feel comfortable. So, people that meet longer on winter days will have more points. <laughs> but we also need, um, um, we have those days exactly said on the um, online profile of each county. And with rare exception, if the temperature drops too much, they can go inside because... It's important for us to feel comfortable and weather can change. So we will have a basic uh, information about where people will be meeting. And of course, if rains, everyone going to go inside if rains hard. If it's just a little, um, a few drops, that's fine. In summer drops, right? It's fine to stay outside and... And it's just for two hours. But if rain is strong, everyone going to go to the clubhouse meeting room. We do believe in incarnation and spiritual evolution. So that's why we are doing all this work for ourselves and for the animals, mostly the mammals. But there are many birds like the penguins. They have to renew as well and come to warmer places. So they will live with more 
harmony, more peace, and won't be so hard for them to get food and, and raise their young. The Saturday work with all the activities we'll be doing uh, in warm, hot countries, they will start at 7 o'clock. And in colder countries, also according to the season, they will start at 8 o'clock. They will sing together, have the garden work, the community lunch together, and the spiritual meeting. So those four things. They will be doing, a, we will be doing along the whole year, with exception of a very few vacation weeks that nobody will have those activities. So families can have the whole day to go to field trips, family field trips, and um, enjoy the opportunity to be with their family, do something different, special, go to state and national parks that sometimes are more far away. And those weeks will be said for the South and North Hemisphere when they will be. That's another thing that we have. We will also learn is not to ask God for everything we need. We have to have power ourselves to do things we need to be in a better place. So... When we do our prayers, we have to be careful on how we do it. Because not to ask, 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 that's not the right way. We are thankful for the things we already have. And uh, the way we say, say, thank you God that for this, for that, that we are already uh, achieving. And we have to do our work so we can get those things. This is very important. No, because God cannot attend those that are not making any effort. We have to work together as a family to be in a better position. We have to work ourselves to be in a better position. We have to work as the couple have to have meetings together and, and be talking about everything so they are better together. And businesses of all types, the same way, they also need meetings with their managers, with their staff. So everyone will be working in harmony. And we need meetings. We cannot ignore meetings. Meetings are important. And not too long. No, short meetings with objective points according to what the organization is asking. And monthly meetings, that's what they will be. Say a few words about the month that passed. Say a few words about the month that's coming. Main objectives for the month that's coming. Present, get approved, and have the records book signed by everyone present. And put the same information at the Peace app. Because if anything happened to the Peace app, the online piece app, we have the records book. Records book will be written until 2040, until the end of 2040. Every business will have, every resident, everyone that, every uh, one, yes, everyone, every property that will have the garden department directors need to have these records books. Every family will have the records book and will be really objective and learn how to put just the objective points that we used to say bullet points. Now we say objective points. Okay? And with a few pictures, yes, properly printed in a proper picture paper because that's important for us. If anything in the future, in centuries or millennials, we will have these 20 years, almost 20 years will be 18 in reality. Um, but we will have those years very well documented. Yeah, we're still thinking about this detail. We might go until the end of 2042, so we have 20 complete years for everyone to have their records book and, and pictures, a few pictures of... Um, their activities, and um, 
And we will also have records of the spiritual meetings. You know, the basic things. Because remember, we have that part on what people can ask uh, for different subjects. So we have the, the first part of subjects that are already guided, and then this other part. So every minute's book, we have very objective. But the items that were asked by the organization are already scheduled, and the items that came naturally from the participants. Children, teens, and young adults, adults and elders, everyone can ask questions at the moment, sing songs at the moment, at the second hour of work. Everyone needs to participate at least every two months because some groups are going to be larger groups, but um, even quiet people, it's important to participate, to sing, ask questions, say something, ask permission to say something. This is important. And children will only ask questions after the fourth grade. As soon as they start attending fourth grade, they can ask questions. All the other young children will ask questions to their own parents. And of course, when it's time to sing, everyone can sing together, including the little children. Some spiritual items are also related to practice, daily practice, simple things like some guidance for the morning prayer, um, focus when people are leaving their houses, be thankful when they arrive home, everyone is safe, the family is together. You know, think about some positive um, the family is together, everyone is safe. So we will have things like that for daily practices. We will also have some gratitude to previous civilizations, but focus on a moment, what we have now. Because for previous civilizations we are not going to talk about, people will study at their school. We will focus on now, what we have now, what we have to do now, how we are doing things now. Okay, because this way will be better for us so we don't have too many subjects at the spiritual meetings. It's forbidden for people to be on the streets talking about the organization, spiritual work or anything else. Like we see some religions nowadays, they send people out in public places to be talking about God. We are not doing that, that's forbidden. We would to talk about God, we have to be organized, you know, talk when the family is together, as I said, for meditation, spiritual meetings, or opening of events, at schools as well, before eating. But we have to have respect to talk about God. We, you know, God is not uh, just anyone. Uh, we have to have dignity and have a special moment and talk uh, without being in a hurry, right? So some subjects are very high for us. Um, we have to treat them in a way that is for us to have high standards for those subjects. And this department, the whole department is very special. Even to talk about them, we have to pay attention, you know, and do the best we can. And then I'm just going to sing some songs, and more songs will have a special video about them. Clean waters and lands, sacred waters and lands, clean and sacred waters to our lives, peace to our hearts, to the ones in need. We are all one, we are all one. Clean water and land, sacred waters and lands, clean and sacred waters to our lives. Peace to our hearts, to the ones in need. We are all one, we are all one. I sing a song of peace. I sing a song of peace and love. I sing a song of peace. I sing a song of peace and love. 
United we are, united we are, united we are, united we are. So those two songs are simple songs. We have quite many small, short, simple songs because they are healing as well. Okay, so everything we'll be doing, we'll be doing until the end of 2040. That's related to the headquarters. And books, written notes, books of records. Okay, and we're still thinking if we are going to continue doing the records book uh, on the beginning of every decade, maybe for two years, on the beginning of every decade, maybe so we can have a follow-up along uh, maybe a whole century, maybe. So, But we're still deciding about that because they're important as well. But let's see what the, what, how we can come to a decision about that. You know, every decade, maybe one year maybe one year or two years of each beginning of each decade to have proper records. Let's see how. And we will have the decision for you. Okay, now we have the item, the handbook about the organization authorized communication items. Music, songs, books, videos, theater, plays, shows, and everything else. Documentaries, movies, right? So, all the um, headquarters assistant teams for each one of those items for different age groups, of some of them, of course, will be checking, evaluating, and then they're going to send to the people above them, and then the headquarters will have the ones that are approved to evaluate and have approved. And they will be... Uh, printed by the end of 2040. So we will have maybe two or four months due time to present new items. So we have time to check them up and approve them because nothing else will be approved after that time. So we are really, we will really have enough of all those items and because people will be doing other things as well, right? <laughs> and, um, and this way we'll have plenty of them in all areas. So now we have the handbook about seasonal festivals. Seasonal festivals will be beautiful. And during summer we will have barefoot and, and sing songs, connect to nature, be grateful encounter people and and everyone families and groups of children teens young adults from university can do their presentations as well it's going to be really nice we will have some guidelines for different festivals and some guidelines that for all festivals of all types guidelines for schools and in the afternoon residential communities and guidelines for parks that we'll be having on the following week. And we will also have opportunities and guidelines for business owners uh, during that week that we have, or maybe two weeks from the day of the school and residential until the weekend for parks. So we are thinking we're going to have one week or two weeks time frame. So we won't have so many parties close together because businesses can also offer something special for the staff. And it will be really beautiful. 
are all seasonal festivals on these four basic locations I just mentioned. We will also have prayers and songs, presentations, and eat together. So some business can have tables, everything properly set up, even can go to a nature event and, and rent the area for that moment. And some business can have fabrics under the trees and enjoy nature if it, the weather is good. So all these things will be, will be really nice, have movement, have some different options for different seasons. That will be great. Because even that places that are warm, tropical and subtropical countries, they already uh, have a lot of rain. So, but we will enjoy the rain. We will enjoy those moments. It will be really beautiful. All those places that are offering food will have food planted right there. And we have food preparation right there. People are not going to bring food from home to those locations. At school, it will be done like that. At the residential community, the parks and the business. They have to harvest their own. For business owners that will have these special events in the special locations, the special location, such as uh, nature events, need to grow extra food to offer them. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the handbooks um, that um, with rules and guidance for shows. So we have information for the couple leader and attendees. And it's a lot of information about the microphone, uh, the license, you know, how they can do, where they can do, because even for those that have authorization, can offer some special um, shows in places, assigned places for each county, such as some hotels, not all of them, some restaurants, not all of them, and when, how, how often they can do, so they can give opportunity to others, they can have payment for those shows and um, who can offer shows and how many points they will need to continue doing that because we will always, always have the best ones, right? And um, for the teens' days, like when they go to a hotel, Friday nights and Saturday nights, they can also offer their shows to others of their same age. So it's, it's very special, beautiful. People that are traveling can also sing on the hotel they are, but if that hotel is assigned to do that and how many points they have, because we're not going to have people offering shows if they don't have proper points at the Peace app. So all this is important. And we are not going to have singers traveling the world to sing their songs. They are going to focus on their own community. Their own community. And for people that are traveling, can offer songs only at the hotels they are at. Or maybe we're going to take that out. We're not sure yet. But we can offer that opportunity. But it's uh, international trips is once a year for every family. And only every, um, I think every four years or so, we are still deciding this detail. How often a family that can afford can go to another country. Because we don't want families to be traveling too much. So maybe every five years or even more, we, we, we have to examine these details. Shows will be small. We are not having these huge shows in, in stadiums, in huge places. We are not having that. Or even beaches for hundreds or even thousands of people are not having that. With huge speakers, we are focusing on having smaller groups and um, in different locations. For example, the festivals that people can do, their that families and groups can do, can offer their shows. 
we still examine if international families travel internationally if they can do their show but i think we'll be fine because if they have authorization to go to another country at the hotel they will be staying that will be fine public nature parks the city county state and national parks we also offer their festivals i said and they will have urban buses on those days and they need proper bathroom proper um, signs here and there and families will be checking their cell phones for any detail you needed before they go to the parks and nearby families we also um, sign up for volunteering everyone until they retire they have to sign up for at least two parks a year and those with young children up to five years old do not have to volunteer and elders i think after after 70 or so uh, do not have to volunteer so twice a year if everyone gets together people will be working one hour or so maybe two hours or even the whole four hours but in a sustainable way everybody will do a little something and while they volunteer they can enjoy the opportunity of of doing that with the people and talking and communicating or singing together preparing food together so we will have beautiful days the food also needs to be planted at those parks and prepare right there and offered right there what they have according to its season because that's what we're learning to eat what's from each season and they will have planted things that ha are harvested along the year different things and for countries that have snow and have just a few things that's what they have to eat that's fine that's what they have to eat and for other countries that have abundance of things all year round that what they're gonna have as well according to what they can harvest okay then we have the handbooks for all educational sites for everyone that will be having community gardens so we have all the educational sites we also have handbooks for nature events the nature gardens what they need what they can have because some of them can be large and offer all activities and some of them can be small and offer less activities along the year we will have um, the handbook for garden theme parks so for example all those theme parks like in orlando and so many different cities in the world can continue offering the activities but only with good sustainable positive items so we have handbooks for them if they want to offer food the same way they have to plant and harvest right there produce take care and prepare right there for their guests and offer how much they have along the year and they need to have land right there they cannot have land too far away because we are not going to have people walking too far away with food or people uh, having food transported in trucks everything related to food needs to be planted on site food finished food finished people will go to the hotels or restaurants and eat their dinners if needed so we have to plant right there have those lands right close by to them or beside them or right in front of them but not far away then we have information about garden water parks yes we can have water parks um, in the same way they have to have their own food they have to have their uh, prepare and right there on site now for garden the theme parks that i talk about and the water parks 
we have some restrictions for future years because we are not going to keep producing things for them. So as they break down a few of their items, as they break down, they will be sent to be recycled, no more will be produced because it's not sustainable. So huge parts for this, for that. And we will have a list of the items that we can keep producing that are sustainable. So that's fine. For example, water parks, if it's a slide, the plastic slide, that's okay. We take the plastics apart, recycle, make new plastic. That's fine. But for the theme parks, we are not going to continue producing things that are not sustainable, uh, such as huge roller coasters and things like that. Now we have the handbooks for garden hotels. I say garden hotels because they need community gardens, food planted as well. And they can choose according to the land, the size of land they have, and also according to the number of apartments they have, they can choose. If they have enough land for, for lunch or dinner, or they have uh, land that they can plant and offer food for breakfast or snacks in the evening. They can have some snacks. So fruits and veggies, I mean, that's our snack, right? With nuts, seeds. So every hotel will have um, sign up for something according to their land, and they are not going to change for future years. The owners will be signed up for they want, but also the organization volunteers will be telling them how much they can have or they can need because everyone needs to offer something, something, or on a property that are their own or they have to purchase the property on a, on a side, on a front, or on a back, right there, close by. Not too far away. They cannot, we're not going to have again farms far away. You know, those things will be doing only for residential communities that really need, such as big cities that were already packed in buildings, and they will have community gardens close by. It can be even a few blocks away, but not too far. We have to find a way. If needed, okay, get fast food restaurant, put it down, and let's plant garden right there. Clean really well, all the construction debris, and, and plant right there. That's the only one we can have that's a little far away for fruit trees and some veggies that take longer. But the salads and everything else need to be planted really close so families can be harvesting every two days or so right there to be sustainable and positive for everyone. We will have hotels that are for teens with special authorization for Fridays, Saturdays, and vacation days. And we will have hotels for families only. And on some other days, hotels can um, have different areas for teens and families, but they cannot blend them in the same uh, area or the same building according to what the organization volunteer established for each one. That's very important. So we won't have families and teens taking the same elevator or going being neighbor, have neighbor apartments, hotel apartments right there. That's not positive. Okay? All right. We are doing great. And then we have public parks with rentals, such as surfboards by those parks. We have um, some slides for snow or some slides for dunes, sand dunes. So that's fine. They're public parks. And they will hire proper families to be doing that. The families will be staff of that park and they will be sharing days along the year 
so those families can have fun as well while you know they are there working before or after and um, also have other families many families because we have this share work position but they can also have some Sundays for themselves so families can only work two Sundays uh, a month and two Saturdays afternoon from 2 to 6 to 15 or 2 20 depending where they're located until 6 15 or 6 20. All the other fun parks will be private businesses and they will be part of there will be a nature event site. Okay? All right. Because we are not going to have private families, private business owners inside public parks because then, you know, they're not complete. One thing or another thing will be separate. So, um, you know, or everything is public or everything is private. It's better this way, more organized and safe for everyone and it will be really good. Garden restaurants. They also have their handbook and um, for restaurants of all types, they have to plant and harvest. That's really close by, how much they can. And um, we will give... Um, uh, space or how far they can have their land planted. They will plant some right there, of course, that's important. And how far we can do that. Okay, so that's the end of the businesses. For all of them that will be offering food, we will have a specific information on how many blocks they can be. Uh, how many meters away from their property they can be because some they want to offer food to too many people but can we do that or not how so we will have details so everyone will have the same rules and guidance the same standards to be easy and sustainable for all of us once we are all renewing right now this time in 2022 People that have like fast food restaurants or even vegan restaurants or natural restaurants, they can renew and exchange property with others or properly sell them. So on a way that restaurants really need property to plant their food, if they want to offer many meals, they need more land. And land cannot be too far away because we are not having trucks again going all over. So if their staff members can go with some bags and pick them up a block far away, that's okay. Or maybe even two blocks far away. But not more than that. We are examining and we're going to have all details for every type of business on how far they can have their planting land. And for fruit trees, maybe extra fruit, that's okay. Or, or also for vegetables and salads, but not too far because we need to have control of everyone that the staff members that will be carrying that. So for all educational sites, they have to plant food right there. With exception of the adult education that a few of them can have food and a few do not need food. Why is that? Because adults will be going to other places. And um, on a future or now, elders that want to have food, they will be registered to adult education that's close to their homes. But adults that are working, if the work offer foods, they don't have to eat at the adult education. They can eat their lunch at their work if they have food. So we will have all these details and whoever is decided from the organization volunteers and also the business that's applying an agreement 
uh, is signed by the owners and they can only apply and sign if they agree with everything that's listed for them, that the volunteers organize for each of those businesses. Right now, for these first few years, while adults are still even learning how to read and write for some of them, adults are still um, learning basics in computers, so we will have adult education centers that are really full of students. But afterwards, we'll be mostly elders taking their uh, fun classes, their workout classes, or parents in vacation days that can also assign for different activities. So we have to see that. So that will be very different on the future because everyone will learn all these things at their regular school and go straight to university, right? So we will have to be really careful on what type of activities they will be offered, how much will be the minimum and how much can be the maximum. That's for right now, for this first few years until everyone goes to university. And if they have some land available, they will plant some fruit trees or seeds or whatever they think is the best for them to offer something like a, a fruit snack for those adult education centers to offer something. And because all of us, we are working to have food on their site. So if they need, you know, they can have, don't have to provide for the whole year. But for to plant something, it's, it's important. Even that they're not offering proper meals with proper uh, payment of their staff members. But something like a fruit snack or something for morning breakfast, you know, um, I think will be important. Okay, so now we have the handbook that's about sustainable and positive common areas for residential communities. So we have many details of many items, so I'm just going to say each Title and a few words about them. So the number one is about the main entrance. The main entrance will have all the walls that will gather onto the main entrance. And the main entrance will have proper gates. So the gates will be a gate for pedestrians. And uh, that's not too short, of course. And the... Uh, Trucks for the delivery of items to that delivery room will be outside of the guard house. So we are sure we have no trucks at all entering the residential places. From that point on, the families will bring their own things or the maintenance uh, team will bring their own things in carts if it's heavy, you know. Manual carts, not golf carts or trucks or cars, you know, we don't need that. Okay, so the receiving room will be outside the security guard. So the trucks will turn around, drop off and already leave. Okay, so we have the outside and inside sidewalks all properly made. We have the security guard house right there and for those that need to have a person we will have the delivery parking spot place right there and on communities that do have the um, vans with the drivers or bus with the drivers they can go inside and we will also have the vehicles larger gates because not every community will have the drivers because that's not sustainable so we will choose a few ones and all those drivers will go in the morning that's not so many but they will go together in those assigned vans 
maybe one van or so, or two, we don't know. I'm, we are going to establish for each community how many they can have and how many, because we will need urban buses, we will need drivers that go to the airport, and so on. So we have information about the office that will be located at the clubhouse and will open maybe just two hours a week and everything else will be done online with proper records. So if any work order need by a resident, everything is on proper emails. For non-official information can be done using our app. That would be like WhatsApp, right? Um, people can send a little short video or a little information about this and that. And so both sides will have records of those information. The communities that will be authorized by the organization for the drivers will have this parking space and also um, the, these vans will be really close to the entrance. So they won't be driving around the whole community. They will be right there on that first building and the drivers can walk and get their van right there. And will be a block area. So they can, even that they want, they cannot pass and be driving inside the property. This way we will be sure and safe that no one will be doing that. They can take their vans with the drivers and leave early in the morning. We are not going to have school buses because they are not sustainable, not positive. People will walk. We have schools close by and elders can help. Retired grandparents can help to bring, drop off, pick up. They can take turns so they don't have to be doing that every day and every community will have them and will be really sustainable. And um, so parents can go to work, children can, and teens can go to school, and they, we might have some buses for universities. That will be needed because we're not going to have universities all over. So for that, people can take urban buses. We are um, checking how that can be, but we're not going to have university Buses for university students, you're not going to have that. They can take urban buses if needed. That, of course, will have proper routes to help everyone for that county. The other item, number five, is community gardens for family that will have their own garden beds. So, retired couples can have one garden bed and families can have two garden beds. But right now, this is to be sustainable and established in the same position for all years and centuries and millenniums. So we will, any improvement needed in the area will be done now during these 28 weeks, but not after. Garden beds will be established at those locations that will be decided and cannot be changed after the 28 weeks. So... Once right now our families will be really big, two garden beds won't be enough. So what we'll be doing? You know, because our families, many families going to be 14 or even 15 people because we are going to adopt, right, and have a total up to eight children, teens, and young adults. Okay, so what we'll be doing? Families will have these two garden beds, and they will also have more community areas planted. You know, that's for everyone on items that can be planted right there, their community or close by, as I said, to complete the food they need. Because it won't be enough for so many people to have only two garden beds, but will be perfect for the future. So in 15, 20 years or for some counties that can have uh, four children for longer time. So maybe up even to the, the longer than that. But that's how we're going to do, okay? And every elder that can will be sharing. And for the 
things that are planted together, harvest together, and share with everyone, we will do the best we can to help everyone. So all of us will be eating both, so nobody going to be eating too much. So it will be really plenty and sustainable. And right now we also have many uh, trees that um, are grafted. So soon we're going to have food. And during this 28 weeks for the farmers that are close by, they can also offer some food for now. And um, I think we'll be really sustainable this way. And all details will be placed at each residential community profile and some information at every county online profile. The pool area for residential communities and also for educational sites will have all the details. For schools, the pool area will have two different keys for two different teachers to be opening the gate. And for residential communities, people can only go with their families unless they are young adults. And we are thinking if they can go... Um, if they have a partner at the location, if they can go by themselves on vacation days after they are 15 years old, that they can be responsible and have some time with their partner, but only if their partner are from their own residential community. So all of them will have bathrooms and showers to take the chlorine out and details like that. All of them will also have proper fence, um, um, not a fence um, as a net, but fence as a metal, metal frame fence. Open pool area for special sites such as garden hotels, nature events, and other locations. All the above is also valid. They will also need fans and fences and bathrooms and showers. And some can be open, as we have nowadays in many places. You know, can be open without specific fences. Because parents are in charge of their children and, you know, teens and young adults are responsible themselves. So that's fine. Item number eight is about laundry rooms. So I have all details that's also said on the construction department said a few things, but they will have the washers, the dryers for now. We are not making dryers in the future. As soon as those cannot be fixed anymore, people will only hang them and on prep proper clothes hang lines. So we will have the sink to wash hands. We will have a closet, not a closet, sorry, a little cabinet for the ironing iron boards, two iron boards that fall, you know, so people can press something that's needed for work or for a special nature, uh, our organization event. So basically it's that. For our educational sites, laundry rooms will be about the same as above, you know, with all these paragraphs that I'm not reading, it's just for you to have an idea. Residential communities, we also have, the number nine is garden tool room with wheelbarrows and small hand tools with body long tools and everything else is needed. Even with some uh, small twisters for some type of plants and vines and some watering cans, some hoses. Because it's important for children to have fun in different ways as well. So, we will have the pruners, the clippers. We will also have a place for different strong wooden box for us to put the hand tools in it and avoid 
the baskets. Baskets for people to bring their items and bring them back, that's fine. But for to keep them, we need a very strong uh, wooden box for a few different hand tools. So they will last for many decades. So we also need the place for the long fruit pickers because they won't fit inside, but we need a place that do not rain, so they will last for a long time. Unless they are made out of metal um, that are not rustable and, and like um, pool nets, you know, those long handles that are do not have anything inside them, they are lightweight and easy, with a little holder for the, the pickers, right, to cut and drop the fruit right there, instead of dropping fruits in the ground. And a few things for liquid fertilizer and dry fertilizer mix that we're going to need now in these first years. And for the future, we have a list of those that we will continue to have from the own property. For example, the ashes that we produce, we're going to put some little pieces of, of branches to burn with the paper, and then we can use that ash. But we're not bringing things from other places anymore. Everything we have to bring to help that soil to be rich going to be dropped off during this time as asked by the department directors and dropped off and used during these 28 weeks but not after after people can have places for things only that are produced at their own community as the example for ashes I just gave no one will use gloves once they're not sustainable, they're not needed. Everyone will be fine. We just have to be careful in these first weeks on how we do things to make sure the soil is safe. So the volunteers will be saying if the if the if some specific things need to be sifted or not to be safe for everyone. Every garden that is receiving soil needs to make sure uh, that they are not, they do not contain heavy metals and they do not have harmful items such as construction, powder, you know, things that we don't see. Or if they are from areas that were landfills before, we can't have that. We can have um, ashes from the animals that will be incinerated. Um, that is fine, or from people that will be incinerated, but not from harmful things. So we have to be really careful. Or even um, pieces of things that can be mixed in the soil. You know, if it was a, a land with trash or... So we cannot have those things because it will be hard to sift everything. So for soils that will be available for sale, we have to be really careful where we're bringing them from. So we're safe. We cannot have any heavy metals. Okay? All right. Then we have the maintenance room. That's the item number 10. With all details for plumbing, for electric, parts to be fixed. Now we will have uh, some trailers that will arrive already locked with everything that community needs to be replaced in different areas. And on the future, will be just for the most important. They will be very few and um, in case of emergencies and for anything extra they will be ordered afterwards because everything will be made to last for many decades so 
from simple sink faucets to handles, door handles and everything else, we have to be really careful how we use them so they will last for decades and won't be replaced at any time. Every garden area will have some outside kitchen and some picnic tables for people to enjoy when it's not raining, on weekends, uh, some fun days, vacation days. We also have our playground and um, the size and for children, young children up to maybe 14 years old, we have to make it strong. And, of course, they are not going to play too rough. Once will be mostly for, for children in general. So those young teens can't play too rough, but can have fun as well. That's fine. And for 15 years old and older, they will have, and the little ones can enjoy as well, metal bars for them to work out a little bit, and monkey bars. That's okay to have, not too big to be sustainable. They can have a few meters of them. It's very good and, and sustainable. Then we have a place, that's the meeting room, connected to the clubhouse with bathrooms and a little place for the, the mini library, right? Because we all can have fun right there because children and teens are not going to bring home books from their school. They're going to read right there. So the mini library for each residential community can offer the books for everyone. And for university students, that's different. I think they can bring some books home, or they will be having one extra hour before or after their classes, or maybe between um, to use the books as their books right there and not to bring home. But we have to decide on this detail. We also need a place uh, for drafts in case the community has a, a large pond for people to have fun and also for them to fish um, in case they have that authorization according to the size of the pond, because if it's too little, it makes no sense. But if they are large, they can have that. Residential communities are not going to have access to um, a river that is right there. For residential communities that do have canals or rivers between them or beside them, right there, close to the homes. We have to see how we are going to do to be safe so people won't be going to those rivers because if we are making walls at all residential communities, what we are going to do with that? Because we don't want our children or teens getting a raft you know, and going out or something. But we can enjoy the view. So for these details, we have to see what will be the procedure about those specific areas so everyone can see them because they're right there, right? It's important we can um, have that gift of enjoying the view of nature, but we cannot have people going anywhere, anytime, or we are going to have a chain link fence, what we are going to have, what will be the most safe and appropriate considering those things. So these details we're going to still decide. Then we have a property office that will be for one couple to work and um, for specific things. And the, the meeting room will be offered for any meeting with the department directors themselves is needed. For example, uh, a week, I don't know, maybe we specific a day, we're going to have a specific day, before the monthly meeting, they can meet and talk about a few things. 
um, about the following month, what they need. We don't we need we don't need the whole community to be uh, doing that. So they can have those meetings at the meeting room because for some things they can be talking about themselves and only the residents that are interested can come that's fine but for the monthly meeting is mandatory for everyone to be present we are not going to have boats at residential communities because we already decided that that's not sustainable so communities, uh, families that have them, they have to sell them to proper rental locations that can even be close to their homes to go on those same rivers, but cannot be owned by families. Because that is a good practice. So we can share with other people and, and families can enjoy in different moments renting those boats. For now, people that have canoes that are 100% uh, wood or made in another biodegradable uh, product, that's okay. If they have a lake, as I said, inside their property to use the same time as their drafts, that with time they're going to make their own, I think going to be fun for summer vacation days for them to be working and learning and being together and uh, and we are deciding about communities that have those big lakes if they can have those very small boats these tiny boats up to you know very shallow boats so they can also be driving around their communities, but no more will be purchased or brought in. If they can keep just these little ones for fun time, if their property is all properly fenced and not a canal or a river that leads to other rivers or ocean. For all the drafts, canoes, and these very short mini boats, <laughs> that will be authorized, will belong to the whole community. People can sign up on the days, for example, Saturday afternoons or vacation days, and they will be according to how much they have, how much they are in resident size. Uh, if they can have for one hour or two hours, no more. That's not needed. So they can share with other people. So people are going to have a proper sign up and... Um, uh, for them, all of them to be using, I think it will be fun. Okay, my friends, so this information about the Department of Clean Water and Peace with the topics, you know, the titles, because I didn't say everything, but just for you to have an idea and bad information will be available soon at our website. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Please share this link to everyone you know um, until the organization launching day so they can also will be learning about our work thank you so much for your participation and um, talk to you soon have your white flags ready for those that do not have the the proper flag yet can have white fabrics from home for us to start practicing, enjoying our dances, different choreographies that we will have some videos, some samples for everybody to have an idea. Okay, thank you so much and have a blessed day.